this video, we're going to describe the basic configuration of Aviva Telemetry Server acting as a master station, whether the application is in power distribution, water wastewater, or oil and gas, the goal is the same. We want to integrate the geographically distributed assets with our control room. One or multiple computer nodes running Aviva Telemetry Server will be integrated with System Platform to accomplish our integration goal. For the purpose of our example, we are dividing this region into various subregions or zones. Zone 1A, 1B, 2, and 3. Let's now focus on the basics of the configuration of telemetry server. There are minimum parts that need to be configured before you can connect to a remote terminal unit or RTU. We just discussed the first part of the configuration, which is the group. The group is used to organize your communication strategy into hierarchical zones for ease of use. The second part that you need to configure is the channel. The channel defines the type of connection to the RTU. This can be a continuously connected network such as Ethernet or serial, or intermittent network connection such as dial-up. The third part that needs to be configured is the outstation set. The outstation set is used to group outstations together which are using the same communication channel and protocol, as well as other considerations detailed in the product's documentation. The outstation is the fourth element that needs to be configured. It contains the specific connectivity information to the remote terminal unit or RTU. With these four elements configured, you can then start adding points to the system to be monitored and controlled. We're now going to switch to the software to show the details of the configuration. We will now start the telemetry server configurator so we can configure it to run as a master station. Before we can start using it, we must uh, log in into the application as it's secured by default. Now that we're logged in, we're going to start by creating the groups as we just described earlier. And also, we're going to create the two subgroups within that region. And now we're going to configure the channel. And for the channel configuration, we need to ensure that we pick the channel for the specific particle that we're going to utilize, the MP3 in this case. As we create the connections for the channel, we can uh, hit the save button and uh, it'll show us here if we have some other areas that need to be configured. In this particular case, we haven't defined the line speed, so we'll select the line speed. Click save again. And now the last part is to ensure that we put the channel in service. And we'll save that. The next part of the configuration, it's the outstation set. We'll have to assign the outstation to a channel. And then we'll select the local address. And last but not least, we'll put in service. Select save. The last part of our configuration in this area is the outstation itself. We'll give it an address. We'll go to the selection tab and in the network 
we're going to select a single network and here we're going to give the IP address of that RTU station. And the listening port. Okay, let's select save. And we need the outstation set. Alright, and last but not least, we'll put it in service. And if we wanted to, the last part that we will configure here would be a point. In case we wanted to configure points directly over here, we can do that as an example. But typically, the points will be created in the client application in system platform in this case. So let's say. Um, Sure. We link it to the outstation and we'll give it a point number, let's say point three in this case. And enable the service. And that's all that's required. Before concluding, we want to verify that our configuration is proper. So we just right click on the item that we just created and we ensure that there's a connection value that is live and that'll certify that we configured it properly. And that concludes this video. Please remember to watch our channel for additional tips and tricks on how to configure telemetry server. Thanks for watching.